Iceman, Iceman, uh, I, can I get a word? It seems that uh, you are in the building on an episode that has been designated for the dual team division, but you have no slated dual team partner. Uh, can I ask what you're doing here? The Iceman doesn't need a dual team partner. He's the OMGW champion, and he did that by himself, with his own two hands and his own two feet. The only title that matters in this business is the one that sits on my shoulders. I'm here for new business. Tony the Magnum Sinclair. He seems to think he can challenge me for this title. Next week, I'm going to prove him wrong. But for right now, I'm going to go find him and I'm going to show him exactly what I think of him. And that's the cold hard fact, Jeffrey Chimes. Now get out of my way. Welcome to OMG W tonight. My name is Ziggy Vans, and uh, let's welcome you back to a sold-out studio. With me is my partner, as always, Blaze Phillips. Hello, OMG fans. Yes, yes, another sold-out show yet again. And you guys just heard from the Ice Man in the back. If you were uh, listening, you might think he was talking about somebody else in the third person there, but. Uh, what do you think about that, Ziggy? I don't know. Uh, he's He definitely means business. He's definitely out for Tony Sinclair. We'll see what happens tonight. He doesn't have a dual team partner, and this is a dual team show. However, Tony Sinclair has aligned himself with the Kaiser. They call themselves Firepower. Interesting stuff here. And right now, coming to the ring, we have the Hard Rock Brothers. It has Power Cord. Uh... Nick Legacy and Zachariah Hard Rock are headed to the ring. This match came about because uh, Power Cord and the Philbillies are both undefeated in the dual team division as of right now. And they want to decide who the best is. Uh, so they, you know, no spite, no hate. They just challenged each other because they like to, uh, they want to challenge themselves. This is just nothing but four tough ass guys in the ring. This is going to be good without a doubt. I am looking forward to this. You've got uh, a legend in the a couple of legends. Oh in the my ring. God, Ziggy! It is Doc Holiday on the ramp. Look at that, and he's accompanied yeah. by Filthy Phil, the filthiest. The he, Filthy Phil, just dirty. I always forget how excited you are for Doc Holiday. Oh no, I am just uh, calling it how I see it coming up. This will be a good match here. <laughs> It, I think it is going to be a good match. It's going to be a real good match. Uh, these two teams are just, uh, just absolutely straight brutal with each other. Had a big breakfast there, Blaze Phillips. I'm sorry if uh, you was catching up any uh, emissions. You're sorry for them. I'm the one sitting next to you, Ziggy. <laughs> That is, that is true. That is true. And I apologize to you wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. All right, here we go. We're about to get to the action. Looks like it'll be Doc Holliday and Hard Rock starting us off here. Doc gets control from the lockup into a fireman's carry. Fireman's carry, yeah. Showing some of his collegiate wrestling background. He does have that as well as some mixed martial arts in his background. He likes to uh, to strike and submit, which is a an interesting combination a lot of people have a hard time with. That's why the man's so dangerous, Ziggy. Do your research. I, I did my research. That's why I said the things. It's true. You just didn't <laughs> say it with quite the pizzazz oh, it deserves. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right bad. Right bad. All right, Doc Holliday is in firm control right now. Work. He has applied a half crab. Working on that leg. Working on that leg. Taking the big man. He's focused on those geriatric joints there. I mean, Hard Rock pointed out himself many times, his knees do not work well. 
Philbo gets the tag and Filthy Phil in, but Hard Rock gets a submission, tries to get the tag, but it seems like the ref was in the way. And Phil, Filthy Phil with a nice belly to belly there, standing Hard Rock back up. And two, oh, power, power bomb. bomb into a second power bomb. What a show of strength. Going for a third. third. Third power bomb from Filthy Phil. No what mercy shown there. None whatsoever. Oh, they know that they're just going after that knee. They are. They are. Cover early cover. Well, it's you know it's all good in the ring. You know if you're gonna if you're gonna put out there that your knees hurt, they're gonna go after it. This is a fighting sport after all. Hard Rock gets the uh, tag. Does choose to tag in the brother. I think he was trying earlier, but the ref was in the way. You know, we uh, we spent a lot of money in other places. <laughs> you got you got to cut some corners somewhere. Hopefully, for the power cord, uh, the fresh Nick Legacy in the ring can make something happen because it's kind of been one sided this far. It has been. It has been. Filthy Phil continuing to go off on Legacy. He does not care that he makes the music. He just cares about that big W. Standing oh. press. Big press drop. Big press drop. Filthy Phil continues to be in control. Legacy with a big reversal. Big knee to the face. Showing some life over there. Maybe we got a match now. Snap suplex to Filthy Phil. Looks like Filthy Phil needs to get to that corner and make a tag. He's starting to, you can tell he's getting worn down right now yeah. here by Nick Legacy. Legacy has definitely turned the corner on this match, and we definitely have a match now. No! Big reversal into a downward spiral. By Filthy Phil, he's going to get the tag, Doc Holliday. And Doc Holliday is back in the ring, folks. Can we get a growl on Doc Holliday's back in the ring? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> Z. <laughs> Northern Light Suplex from Legacy. He was ready for Doc. Ooh, oh, oh, bow and, bow arrow, and arrow stretch. Legacy going, going hard. That is a complex and difficult maneuver to pull off. Ooh, Doc with a reversal. Chin breaker. Tries oh. to divert, but Legacy gets the reversal at the elbow. Cha! Woo! That would make Ric Flair proud there. We're in Flair country now. Hopefully not getting sued. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Hard Rock takes it to the outside, putting uh, Doc Holliday to the mat with a big punch. Yeah, he's in a bad spot out there. I didn't know you were able to admit that Doc Holliday could get in bad spots. Oh, he could get in bad spots. The thing is, Ziggy, the guy just seems to always get out. He is very resilient, I'll give you that. Oh, and we've got a brawl fest going on. They are throwing hands. Just Back and trading forth. blows. Trading blows. Hard Rock seems to get the better of it. Taking him to the corner. Going to get a tag. Are we going to oh. see a double team? We are. Double team. Short, short strap backbreaker. Double backbreaker there. Whoa. Dragon Doc's limb body out in the middle of the ring. No, no way, folks. Not today, Doc says. Doc Holliday gets the kick out. He is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. That's saying something, Ziggy, after taking that massive move right there. I'll give you that one. That was one heck of a maneuver that he survived. Legacy going for that low abdomen stomp. Oh, oh, legacy leg lock. He's going for the legacy leg lock. Can you lock it in? He's got it locked in. Oh. Will Doc survive? Legacy leg lock. Doc is trying to crawl for the ropes. He's trying to survive. Doing anything he can. He survives. He pushes out. 
That's a 10 second hold count coming into play yet again. Just the strength of Doc Holliday to survive that and throw Legacy out of it. Managing to get a little breather there, tagging in Filthy Phil. Filthy Phil goes right in with the gusto we know him for. Uh, going to the throw bolts. Series of punches and strikes to Legacy. Man, axe handle, Phil. Filthy Phil is on the attack now. The turn tides have turned. Now I'd have to say, I think Legacy needs to get attacked. I would have to agree with that. Hard Rock's had the time to take a breather, and he's fresh in that corner. Whoa, well, Filthy Phil taking it to the top rope. Top rope, belly to back suplex. Ooh. Looks like he did just as much damage as he gave. Those high risk moves like that, and high risk, high reward, I suppose. Oh, huge clothesline. Filthy Phil goes for the pin. This could be it. Doc goes to block. Ooh, we get a kick out on two. Belly to back from Doc. Doc's trying to keep Hard Rock from interfering. I think he did his part and he's getting out. So it's Hard Rock. You know, you got to get in there to break up the pin, but it, it looks like a mutual show of respect for these guys. Yeah, I don't think there's anim any animosity no. here in this one tonight. This is just good. Wholesome. Oh. We're mud stopping. We're mud stopping, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Into the drop. Filthy Phil with the pin. This could be it. Hard Rock breaks it up with two. Doc could not get there fast enough to stop him that time. That was that was, that could have been it right there. Go! Oh, the strum! The strum! Legacy out of nowhere hits the strum, and that could be it. He could have changed, turned the tide there. Oh my gosh. Filthy Just Phil kicks out. Constant back and forth in this one. And now Legacy's going to throw some bows. What? Yeah, what a back and forth. Hey, you know, every time I think one team's got it in the bag, the other team just explodes out of nowhere. That is a fact there, Ziggy. This is a good match. Oh! Big knee to the temple. Filthy Phil could be out, but Legacy says, no, I need to do some more damage. Oh. Oh, butterfly backbreaker. And he goes for the tag. Hard Rock's in. It's like a jackhammer setup for that backbreaker. Yeah. Though. Ooh. Now it's Hard Rock's turn to unload on Filthy Phil. What a match we're seeing. This sold out capacity fake crowd is on their feet. If I were Filthy Phil, I would be getting back to my corner as soon as the opportunity presents itself. You know, it's. <laughs> I, I, I'm an unabashed Filthy Phil fan, but it's hard to know what's going on in his head at any given time. Yeah, the man's a bit unstable, to say the least. Looks like he is going to go for a pin, though. Hard Rock says no with a big right hand into the corner. Oh, big whip into the corner, into the face crusher. Huge combo from Hard Rock. Ooh. Knee to the back of the head. Hard Rock is just putting a beating on him right there. Yeah, to say what you, to go back to what you were saying earlier, you're right, I don't think there is any animosity between these two teams. Uh, I think they just want to prove they're the best, period. Oh, chart topper! Chart topper! He hits it. This could can be he it. Can make the cover? Oh, Doc's in. Doc's in. Can he break it? He, he does. does. He gets the breakup. That could have been it right yeah. there. Ooh, misses a kick. Filthy Phil getting him from behind. <laughs> Into a German suplex. It's wrestling. People get people from behind. It's what a fact. It just makes me <laughs> giggle. <laughs> Gets the tag to Doc. Hard Rock was unable to tag, trying to shake off that German. Now it's Doc's turn to go work. What is he? What is he setting up? Setting up a top rope. Oh, superplex. Superplex. Get 
Oh, he pulls suplex. out the super. Huge superplex. Puts Hard Rock in the mat. This could be it. Boom for the cover and Legacy Show no sign. Ooh, Hard Rock awesome. still's got some life. He kicks out of there. You gotta wonder if that's faith from Legacy or if he's if he's telling Hard Rock to prove himself like Hard Rock had, had left Legacy in the corner that one match. Black Doc Holiday is in full control right now. Ooh! The SSC cutter! From Doc Holiday. Hard Rock's foot was in the ropes though. He couldn't get the pin. We have seen everybody's signature maneuvers. Yep. Everybody's. This D is a match. DDT. The onslaught just continues from Doc Holiday in his own corner. He's in good positioning right now. Ooh, hard Rock reversing. Showing oh, some heart. Back to trading some blows here. These two love to punch each other. <laughs> As Ziggy said, he got him from behind again. He gets a tag in the corner. And filthy fell back in the ring. He's going to work on the lower back. No, Hard Rock reverses again. Still showing that heart. He's fighting out. Into, no, filthy fill reverses. Into a DDT. Might be some hubris on Hard Rock's fire. He went for the move instead of the tag. Filthy Phil setting up a big splash. Going for the pin, this could be it. And Doc's in to block the interference. That's, That's it. the match, folks. Filthy Phil gets the pin on Hard Rock. What a match. That was quite the match. Just some good, wholesome ass kicking in the ring right there. That was that was absolutely one of the one of the, one of the best matches we've seen here so far. Everybody had to pull out all the stops to get the win. Gotta wonder though, what's going through Hard Rock's mind? Do you think he's thinking he could still do this after this? I mean, that's another loss. Uh, that's another loss for him. It is another loss, Ziggy, but I don't think he can be disappointed in his uh, performance out there. No, I'd have to agree with you. He definitely showed uh, showed quite a bit of heart uh, and uh, and skill in that ring. I think the Philbillies just proved too good. So the Philbillies will remain undefeated while Power Cord will split the difference. Man, these highlights are amazing. So this is a good time to talk about our main event coming up tonight. Uh, it turns out Logan of the VIP got Ingenious Engine the rematch that a lot of people say they deserve after the hand on the ropes. So we'll be Ingenious Engine versus Perfect Team round two. Yes, uh, the VP of VIP continues to grow his stable. And uh, like him or hate him, you can't argue with the fact that he has had some uh, uh, success, success yeah. without a doubt, yes. I mean, his VIP method really turned SGB around in one week. And here's the Philbillies with their, they are victorious and undefeated. You got to wonder if they're not thinking about that, dude. Team gold. Who wins tonight? Well, they've got to be wanting it right now. Uh, let's take a moment to talk about uh, our scheduling. Now, there will be 12 episodes in this first season. And after the next episode, uh, in which the OMGW Championship will be defended, uh, we will start to push towards the finale. Episode 7 will be The Mill, a 20-man, every wrestler in the ring, Royal Rumble. The winner gets a title shot of their choosing, and that title shot will be the season's main event. Yes, it will. We're looking forward to that, Mill. That crowd's been sold out since the dawn of OMGW. Exactly. Uh, then after that, we will have the ladder show. Uh, that show in which we will uh, decide all the other number one contenders. And the summit, which will be the signing of everything to get us ready for the three-part immortality to finish this thing off. How does that sound to you? Oh, it sounds like an endless fill of excitement from the greatest wrestling promotion in the world right now. I would have to agree with you. Uh, I think that uh, we are just show. OMG has exploded on the spot and is really showing its stuff 
We can't wait to see that uh, 20 man. And next week, Tony Sinclair will be taking on the Iceman as he spoke about in the beginning of the show. Yeah, you you have to, uh, you can't ignore the front page headline yesterday, Ziggy. Uh, WWE stocks plummet. Plummet. With plummet. The, with the uh, rise of OMGW. That's right. And the rumor on the streets is we are still getting calls from top WWE stars. Drew McIntyre himself wants to bring the WWE Championship over here. Uh, Who knows what will happen. Uh, well, we can't say that on the air, but, you know, he did anyway. All right, so it's time for our next match. And that's it. Firepower. Newly crafted. The Kaiser, the unspoken one. Apparently, Tony Sinclair has spoken to the Giant and gotten him to side with him. These two have teamed up. I have a feeling it was a lot of one-sided conversation. It was probably Tony Sinclair talking and a lot of nodding and grunting from the likes of the Kaiser. That, that sounds about right to me. Um, they will be taking on the Outlaws. Uh, Sean Kilpatrick and Boston Brawler have gone straight and dirty, and uh, they have teamed up. And with their very, very hard brawling styles. Uh, we'll see if they can't get some success tonight, which they have not been able to do yet. What do you think of Boston Brawler's level of success picking a wrestler like Sean Kilpatrick to be his partner? Do you think he made the right decision? Do you think so Kilpatrick has it in him? Or do you think he may have handicapped himself? You know, it's a tough decision. It's tough because Kilpatrick came out to the ring uh, to watch Brawler and then assisted him in the match, and then they were just, they seem to be thick as thieves. You gotta wonder what's going on in their heads. We haven't really heard much from them, um, and we don't know uh, if they're if they're driving at all. I mean, they have very similar styles, but you gotta wonder if very similar styles doesn't mean very similar weaknesses. Yeah, that's true, and I guess tonight we will get a taste of just that. We will get to find out exactly what they're made of. Uh, they are up against the OMGW number one, championship number one contender and, you know, the Kaiser who's just maxed. And you got to wonder, though, how much is weighing on Tony's mind, uh, Iceman prowling around in the back for him. Yeah, that is true. It, there is quite the backstage drama going on back there between the Magnum and the Iceman. Yeah, yeah, you, and you got to factor Tony as an underdog against the Iceman. Iceman is a big, nasty competitor, and he is the first person to give Doc a pinfall loss in, I think, Doc's entire career. Yeah, it was questionable, Ziggy, but uh, he is here for business, and that is that is a fact. <laughs> All right, well, we got this match underway. Uh, Tony Sinclair opens up hard uh, with a Hurricane Rana to Brawler. Sometimes you wonder why Kilpatrick doesn't just reach out for the head tag to get his buddy out of some out of some trouble in that corner. Yeah, you I mean, I was thinking the same thing in the last match when Doc Holliday was in in the corner, why Filthy didn't just touch his arm. Like, yeah. you know. I mean, I think it's just it's honor. It's honor and integrity which other companies just don't have. <laughs> Brawler with a huge spine bust from Tony Sinclair. The Outlaws are in control right now. Oh, Tony reverse. Chin breaker. Oh, and then double reversal. Brawler puts a kibosh on that. Uh, There's the tag. Momentum changing. There is the tag. Sean Kilpatrick is in. Ooh. Nice shoulder tackle coming from Kilpatrick. That's that Smash Mouth style, Blaze Phillips. You know, a lot of strikers in the ring. Yeah, until you get that giant in there. It is a sure. lot of strikers. A lot and of strikers. High flying action from Tony Sinclair. Oh, and the giant is in. Look at this massive man just towering over the competition. Oh, Sean Kilpatrick not showing any fear. Big shot to the back. And he is going off on the Kaiser. They say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Oh! And Kilpatrick is showing that to be true. What a 360 clothesline. And now he is working on the leg, and that's the first place I'd work on if I was taking on a big guy. I would agree with that. 
with all that mass, those joints cannot be the strongest part of the body. Oh! Face planning and kill Patrick. You know, a very basic maneuver that looks so much more devastating coming from a dude who's seven feet tall. An early tag out back to Sinclair. Sinclair, yeah. Gonna try and shake off those leg attacks. Kill Patrick with another oh, uh, ripcord clothesline to Tony Sinclair into the pin. That could be an early hit. No! Kick out pretty fast there, Zane. That was a one count. That was a one count. Uh, yeah, I'd tag out after that. That's a little intimidating. Sinclair showing his medal, showing why he deserves that shot. Whoa. Brawler. Oh, to the back of the knee. Brawler just seems to have Tony Sinclair's number today. Oh, Manhattan drop. Uh, no, not another one. Oh, God, the sympathy pains are unbearable. I think I'm going to be feeling that one tonight, Ziggy. Brawler made sure to get not just one testicle, but <laughs> two. The big man back in the ring. He just cannot get any momentum. He can't. Those strikes have got Kaiser's number. Going for the cover. I think it's a bit early here. Yep. Kick yeah. out it, too. Yeah. He's still massive and very strong. You're going to have to do some more damage to him. Oh, he's going to throw bows, but it looks like Kaiser got the reversal. We're going to see some offense from the big man. He can't figure out if he wants in front, behind, what? Ooh! Into the turnbuckle so hard he falls down. And then into the choke. Now there is no anti-choking rule in our league because of the 10 second rule. Just so as you know. And another early tag back in to... I, you gotta wonder if Sinclair talked to him before the match and said he's got something to prove to the Iceman back there. Yeah. And just wants as much time in this ring to shut shut the businessman up. That's possible. That's possible. Yeah, it could be that or it could be Kaiser's jealous of the fact that he's getting a title shot. Wants him to prove it. Either way, I think you're right. I think Tony Sinclair is trying to prove himself here as he's been doing his entire business career. Whoa, big double team! Kill Patrick off the top rope with the assist from Brawler going into the pin. Almost three. And Kaiser either had faith in Tony kicking out on that one or he just doesn't care. That is that is true. He could just not care. We don't know what's going on in Kaiser's head. He's still a big mystery. Big question mark. Tony Sinclair getting some offense going, though. I thought he was down and out, but he's showing why he's got that shot. Kilpatrick turning the tables into some strikes. Another ripcord clothesline. Good God. Tony Sinclair's head is going to look like mashed potatoes. But he is not. He might be down, but he is not out, folks. He is... Quickly setting up for something. something. Yeah. Oh, there. A shoulder tackle. Into another shoulder tackle. Getting it going. In Ducks a punch. Nice. Into the sit out power bomb. And he's going to the top rope. Are we about to see 357? It's what we all wait for in a Sinclair match, and we do see it landed. Right into the pin. Oh! Kick out at two. I thought he had him there. I Ziggy. thought he had him. I'm surprised we got the kick out of the 357. That's what we see from Sinclair. That's when he gets the upper hand. He just short onslaughts of just nothing but tarnish. Iron Smash Mouth! Iron Smash Mouth out of nowhere! That could be it! Oh, Kaiser does get the, does the break breakout. He doesn't, want a do he doesn't want an L, that's for sure. Whatever his motivations, he doesn't want an L. Oh, oh, butterfly. Oh, not butterfly. Scissor kick. <laughs> to the back.
heck of a head. He's out. You've got to wonder why there's no cover right now. I think maybe he's just trying to catch his breath. Heck, with all those blows to the head, I'm not sure he can see. Whoa! Pumping up the crowd. Pumping up the kick. Pump up the kick! <laughs> Pump up the kick! Kaiser back in. Let's see if he can get some mo momentum going for his side. Just having a tough time tonight. Getting anything. Though. He's going for the pin. That was a little early. I know Kaiser hasn't had any momentum, but that was a little early. No! Not letting the tag happen, that's for sure. No. Oh, there's a big sit-out powerbomb from the Kaiser. Go Now, he's going for the pin. Oh, that was a very yeah, close call there, Z. Yeah, it was, too, in some fractions. Whoa, miscommunication. Into a backbreaker. Coming from seven feet in the air, you know that one's got to hurt. Yeah, that's that's putting just untold pressure on that spinal cord. Oh, but Kilpatrick showing some life. Getting a little taut. Prepping up the arm. His favorite weapon. But he tries to go for a tag again, and Kaiser cuts him off. Kaiser into the turnbuckle. Ooh. Up and into the sit-down powerbomb. Now Kaiser's got some offense going. It's about time we've seen it, him come to life in this match. Oh. Kodiak press! Kodiak press! Kilpatrick! He survived! He reverses into a DDT! Wow! That is impressive. That is something else, Blaze. I can't believe he was in that move and managed to, to turn it into a positive for himself. Kilpatrick must have heard me in this one, making me hate my words and showing that he is, does indeed deserve to be in that ring. I agree with you on that. Uh, he, he, he. Man, Boston loves to throw the hands into the DDT. Boston Brawler is having an amazing show tonight. He hasn't showed any weakness, really. No, no, not at all. And he has such a quick transition from those hands into the more technical moves. Whoop. Brawler is working on Kaiser. He's showing no fear. Doesn't care what the fans think of him. And he is going for the pin. This could be it. Kilpatrick's going to cut off Tony into a big belly to belly. Kaiser manages to kick out on his own with no help from Sinclair. Brawler's going to throw the bows. Blood! Kaiser's cut! Kaiser's cut! The ref sends the other two back out. Can Kaiser get to the corner? Oh! Spike! Spike! That could be it! Tony's nowhere to be found! That is oh. it! The Outlaws with a strong showing out of Bloody Kaiser. Uh, while they, uh, while we show you some replays... They were fairly dominant that whole match there, Ziggy. Yeah, uh, we're going to get some EMTs out there for Kaiser. Uh, and get him into, uh, get him to, uh, get him some stitches. Get him some stitches in the back. I hope we got a stretcher big enough if he can't walk his big ass back up. Yeah, yeah. Tony's still on the outside, kind of trying to take a breather, uh, and shake it off. Uh, still, let's see some of this, this, these match highlights. You can see Brawler and Kilpatrick just were in control. Most of this match, like 90% of it, I would say. I got to say, I know Sinclair was trying to prove something being out in the ring for so long, but you got to wonder if that was a mistake when you're going against two tough bra uh, street brawlers like this. You know what? I think you're 100% right. After finishing watching and think about it, Blaze, I think Tony was trying to prove something tonight. He was trying to prove there's a lot of naysayers that think that he shouldn't be the first one to get that shot. I think he was trying to prove something, and it came off. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, he handicapped his team by doing so. I, I agree. I agree. I think that's the cause of it. 
And we got a guy in the back with stitches. That's got a way on Tony's mind as well. Actually, what you guys can't see is he's pacing around the ring right now, kind of shaking his head. Uh, he, looks, uh, he looks really hurt. He looks really hurt by this outcome. There's the spike that finished off the match. And that is it for that match. Put it in the books. The Outlaws have a big win. And congratulations to them. Love them or hate them. That was their victory all the way. And they did deserve that one. Wait a second. Wait a second. At the top of the ramp. Is that the Iceman? The Iceman's coming out. Yeah, he's heading down to the ring. Uh, the Outlaws clear it. And he's got Tony. He is brutally beating Tony Sinclair. Oh, Kaiser is in the back getting medical attention. Tony's Nowhere alone. To help him. Nowhere to help him. Huge Emerald Fusion drop. And you know what he's setting up here. It's the cold hard fact. Oh! He leads Tony broken and beaten in the center of the ring. What a vicious attack, Blaze Phillips. Yeah, coming out on the weekend, just mentally broken, Tony Sinclair. Uh, he didn't stand a chance against Iceman in that. He did not stand a chance. Yeah, and you got to wonder, he's now up against his own mistakes, Kaiser's wounds, and now Iceman's beating him down. you got to wonder what kind of shape he's going to be in the next week. Yeah, he better get in the, uh, in the hyperbolic chamber and get all patched up after that one. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, perfect team. You guys are the ACW Dual Team Champions, now the OMGW Dual Team Champions. You won that title last week against the Ingenious Engine who brought the titles over from a previous league. However, after some review, it, it appears that Clayton Cassidy held the bottom rope. And therefore, he will get a, they will get a rematch against you tonight for the titles. It also is apparent that Logan of the VP was the person who got them this title shot after pleading their case to the championship committee. What are your comments? <laughs> it's funny, Jeff. You've got a lot of preamble there. You know, talking about all these things going on and all this stuff that had to happen to get us here. Uh, you know what? We looked at the tapes. Clayton Cassidy's hand was definitely on the ropes. Does that mean they deserve a title shot? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, let's face it. Everything that had happened in that ring before that hand went onto the title ropes was us beating them from post to post to post. When it comes right down to it, we don't care if they're part of the VIP method. We don't care where they're from. We don't care if they put your hands on the ropes or not. You put them in the ring with us Every time, it's going to end with our hands raised and the titles around our waists. Because, Jeffrey, when it all comes down to it, we're the perfect team, and it's all in the name. Big words there from Clayton Cassidy. That was not Clayton Cassidy. That was Justin Stevens. It's okay, buddy. I make mistakes all the time myself. Uh, and now we are ready for our main event, uh, Logan of the VIP and the VIP coming out in force. Uh, he is with Hans and Clayton Cassidy of the Ingenious Engine. They're going to try and get their titles back after the loss yesterday. Now the perfect team, they, they seem to think they've got it in the bag no matter what. Yeah, they do. Time will tell if the VIP method can turn it around for Hans and Cassidy. Yeah, it, 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 we'll have to see. Like, we saw what the VIP method did for SGB. Will it be successful tonight? Uh, and that is a real question. And will Logan get involved? He did not get involved in the SGB match, so you got to wonder. No, he played it very professional. So we will see if his method is indeed all it's cracked up to be. And I tell you, if it is, it's going to shut a lot of people up. Yeah, yeah. 
this is a definite real test tonight. I mean, you can't be 100% successful all the time, but uh, if they get the win, you got to wonder. <laughs> a little bit of showboating from Hans. And there's your ACW slash OMG W dual team champions, the perfect team, Justin Stevens, Kurt Samson. These guys, you got to respect something about them. They are just no nonsense whatsoever. They come out, they do their jobs. Yep, they get in there and get it done. Yeah, yeah. And they have just been around for a long time as well in this business. Legendary champions. Uh, and uh, two people who have just never broken up. They always wanted to be teams. And uh, that was a problem. That's why they never got into the WWE. Uh, because, you know, WWE is just not team focused. We have the best team focused division in the league. I oh, guess. yeah, yeah. WWE does not know how to schedule their uh, dual team. They don't know how to book their tag teams to save their lives. We here know how to do it. If you want team wrestling, go no further than OMGW. See who's going to start us off in the ring here. This is, is going to be an interesting contest. Let's see if it's, a, if it's a similar outcome as the ref is going to show the crowd in the arena what's on the line. And that will be that gold right there. And no fear from the perfect team. They believe that that is coming right back to them. It's going to be Hans versus Justin Stevens to answer your earlier question. Ooh, Stevens wasting no time with the drop kick to Hans. Ooh, Hans with a rushing leg speed. An early tag to the machine. Big elbow. Justin Stevens on his back. Cassidy into the neck cranker. Clayton Cassidy just methodically working on Stevens in the center of the ring. Yeah, he's, he's definitely showing his technique right now. You got to wonder if uh, it wasn't a mistake to take this rematch after all. Backbreaker. Right now, Cassidy is looking good. Whoa, drop kick to the back of the head. Cassidy is looking good and looking on target to take his title back. Just merciless, constant beating, putting on, putting on Stevens yeah. right now. He Just running him. a clinic. Yes, a wrestling clinic is what we've been seeing tonight. In the fireman's carry from Stevens, and he's able to get to Samson and hopefully to turn the tides for his team. Samson into a big fisherman suplex. Does not hold for the pin. Oh! Into the uh, arm, bar. arm bar. You see Logan on the outside of the ring. puts Kurt to the outside of the ring and oh. Logan's getting involved. He's getting ejected immediately. 
One kick and he's out of there. Wow. We've never had a good ref. No, no, that one was on top of things. Whoever this ref is, we need more like him. It makes you wonder why Logan even bothered to get involved in that one after showing that his VIP method was working just fine without without any dirty tricks. You gotta wonder, you gotta wonder if Kirk didn't maybe say something to him when he got knocked out or something, but you're right, I don't understand why that kick. But who knows in the heat of passion what's going on. Nonetheless, the Ingenious Engine is still in full control of this match. Big belly to belly from Clayton. Samson's got him up. Into the pancake. Samson turning the momentum. Can this be the break this team needs? Tagging in a uh, rested Justin C Stevenson. Into the suplex. Now the perfect team seem to be in control. Crank it on that neck there to try to get just cause as much pain to the to Clayton Cassidy as he can. Going for an early cover. I mean, if you can sneak one by and retain your title, why not, you know? Justin throwing some bows there. Cassidy needs to get to his corner and get his get Hans in. See some mat wrestling going on from yeah, Stevenson. They are. That was some good mat wrestling. Stevenson is definitely turning things around right now. The perfect team seemed to be back in control for the first time in this match. I spoke too soon. Dead. Clayton Cassidy showing second sign of life. Oh. oh, are we gonna see a double team oh, here? Not the big man from the top. Not the big man. Oh, huge splash with the with the aid from Clayton Cassidy. Man, that was epic. I think that might be it. Oh, you gotta give him props for kicking out of that. Hans is not small. Oh no, this man is. Nothing to scoff at in size. He's actually our second biggest competitor next to Kaiser. Whoa, going for the foot choke. What is Hans looking at right now? Steven says no. Oh, big drop kick from Stevens, using that agility to turn the tie. He gets the tag, a much needed tag. These guys are doing a good job of keeping each other fresh in the ring. Huge chop from the big man. Woo, Flair Country, ladies and gentlemen. Into the camel clutch. He survives the hold. And Kurt's gonna fight out of it. Into the belly soup. Ugh. Snatch belly to belly. <laughs> <laughs> Snatch belly to belly suplex. Samson is dragging him to the center of the ring, going for the cover here. And a kick out at two from Hans. We, we, are, we are having one hell of a night of wrestling. One hell of a night of wrestling. I just want you guys to know we are not cutting any of this out. Uh, you will see this match to the end. We're not like other industries, which will cut you off for a time limit. This isn't on TV. We, we don't sell out to commercial breaks. 
I mean, unless they were to offer us money. We would definitely sell out to commercial breaks if they offered us money. If you are a commercial out there watching this and you want to give us money, we, we will sell out to you. <laughs> Russian leg sweep reversal. Kurt Sampson back in control. Going for the pin. Only a oh. one count. Gonna take more than that, ladies and gentlemen, and Kurt decides to throw some bows. A real favorite maneuver. Just here in OMG. Between that and breaking fingers, oh, I don't man. know which is used more in this league. I know, I know. Whatever's effective, I suppose. After all, Ooh. we're all about the win here. German suplex reversal for Justin Stevens. Turns the tide. We are all about the win here. Teardrop suplex. And he's holding on. He's going to do multiples. He's going to make sure Hans will never impregnate a woman ever. That's two, ladies and gentlemen. Is he going to go for three? Three teardrop suplexes. You've got to wonder if Hans can recover from this. He's going for the pin. I know I wouldn't recover. There's a machine trying to get involved. But Hans is able to get out of it on his own. However, the Ingenious Engine are in trouble again. Justin Stevens putting Hans into the ropes. Oh, I think we're going to see Justin from up top. I think Justin's going to go from up top, ladies and gentlemen. Justin from up top! Huge drop kick! That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it. One, two. Oh! Machine gets in there. Out what of nowhere! Out of nowhere! What a save! Talk about last minute, Blaze Phillips. That that had to be something like 16 and 17. 17, 16, 16, 17. You just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Justin taking Hans up to the top rope, though. Looking for that superplex. I think he's gonna get it. Superplex to the big German. You gotta wonder how the ring's intact after that one. Well, we spent all the monies we didn't spend on refs on that. <laughs> oh, he misses the elbow drop. Hans rolls out of the way. And then some weird physics stuff happens, and Hans gets the tag. Cassidy's in. Big DDT from Justin to Cassidy, though. Justin's not slowing down. Is he gonna tag? He is! <laughs> he seemed to forget what he was doing there for a second. It happens with all this commotion in the ring. Samson looking to put this one away. Ooh! Perfect team with the reverse. Oh! That's a breakdown! That's a breakdown! That big belly to back, back into the neck breaker. I can't believe he didn't pin after it. Cassidy decides to go to work on Samson, changing the tides. Oh! Oh! Huge suplex! Dragging him to the center of the ring, looking for the pin. That's gonna be it. No! And Justin doesn't even go for the save. He's so sure his partner could kick out. He just takes the breather. Cassidy is all over Samson right now. Into, Into the, the turnbuckle. Turn Kirk shoves him off. Looking for another big fisherman's. Oh, capture suplex. Another big capture suplex. I gotta say, Machine seems the man of 100,000 suplexes. He's got all of them on his arsenal. He didn't get the nickname Suplex Machine for nothing. Steven's in the ring to break it up. I think I think Samson would have fallen to that one. Uh, it was too late to stop him, but he throws him to the outside. Can Machine capitalize? No! They're both down. They're both down. I think Kurt reversed that neckbreaker into a neckbreaker of his own. Kurt trying to get the tag. Trying to get there, but Justin wasn't there to get the tag from. Oh, no! Oh, the roof! He went for the he went for that uh, nasty submission hold, uh, 
and he just he, that million dollar dream submission home and couldn't get it. A fresh Hans is in the ring against a broken and beaten Samson. Can he pull it off right here? He's got him in the press. Oh! Good if he God. can pull off this cover, I don't know if Samson can kick out of this. One. Steven's in the ring to make the break it up. He does. he does! Just barely getting there. Cassidy almost blocked him. That would have been it. We would have had new champions right there. But Justin's in the ring trying to get his partner a breather, give his partner a chance to make that tag. And Samson says no. Samson's like, I'm going to get some vengeance. He's putting Hans up on the top rope again. What are we? No. Oh. This is going to cost him. Oh, another reversal. Kurt with it, just a good old-fashioned haymaker. Still not going for that tag, though. Into the leg drop. There we go. Is he looking for the pin? Oh, I know he gets the tag. a tag on Stevens. You want to make sure he can get it. He gets it, and Stevens is in. Stevens is fresh. He's got a whole new ball game now. <laughs> Hans with another reversal. Just tosses. You gotta wonder, Blaze, in a match like this, I know you've seen your share of just like big, long slobber knockers. What do you gotta do mentally to get through something like this? You know, you just gotta keep each other fresh and, uh, you know, do anything you can do to pull out that victory. I mean, does it does it creep into your head? What do I have to do? Oh, absolutely. After the beating you guys are putting on each other, you gotta wonder how what can you do to finally put this thing away? You just have to try to mentally stay stabilize yourself and push through. All right. Well, let's let's see which team can maintain their focus better. You can see Hans is gassing on the ropes. Huge suplex from Justin. All of these teams seem to be gassed. Will this be it? Hans is looking for the cover. Oh, that was two in like a lot. <laughs> a lot of fractions right there. Thought it was it. Kurt put Hans out of the ring. This is their chance. Maybe they can get a win here. But he stands up the machine. You gotta wonder why. Just teardrop suplex. Inflict more pain. No one is having babies in this ring, says Justin Stevens. He's going for third, and he gets a third. It's a third, just destroying all three parts. Clayton's generous, and he's stuck on the ropes. Going for the pin now. Can Kurt break it up? Oh. That's just two. Another He's kick able out. to get the kick out on his own. Hans wasn't able to break it up. Gotta wonder. This is that VIP method right now. Hans back to the outside. Kurt going out after him. Justin Clayton still in center of the ring. Struggling. You know what the VIP say? What the mind can conceive the body will achieve. Yes, they say that. What the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. That is definitely a principle of theirs. And it and right now the body is achieving achieving survival and almost flourishing there. Can't quite get the upper hand. Big spine buster from Clayton! While Kurt and Hans continue to fight on the outside, is this it? Kick out. Both these teams just showing grit. Tons of grit. Hans returning to his corner. Maybe he can get that tag. Breaking those fingers, just like we talked about. Oh! Big European uppercut, but you could see. You could see the stutter step from Clayton there. He's just exhausted. He's able to get the uh, Hans, who's had a breather, back in the ring. See if Hans can finally put this one away. Oh, working the legs, working the legs. Hans has him up. What is he thinking right now? Putting him in the ropes. Another tag. I didn't think Clayton had, had enough of a rest, but he's going to toss flash. Whoa, tossing press, press splash. He picks him up, though. He doesn't go for the pin. He wants to do more damage into that big suplex. Into the, the pin. This, this could be it. it. Hans is able to. Oh my two. god. 
They kicked out! Justin Stevenson kicked out! How did he do that, ladies and gentlemen? What depths do you have to reach to in your soul to survive that kind of onslaught, please? I'm speechless, Ziggy. And Clayton even hesitated there, completely surprised. And now Justin seems to be on the offensive. Somehow, digging deep. Pulling forth that fourth or fifth wind. Into the teardrop suplex. And he's chaining him yet again. Yet again. You gotta wonder how he's even got the strength left in him to pull this off. I think I'd tap out to this at this point. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> taps out in this league. We've seen that. <laughs> Oh, they won the it. perfect team has just put oh, their money oh, where their oh, mouth oh. was. What a match. Yo, you, man, every other dual team out there has got to be looking at this match and going, how do you even beat those guys? And this just takes a lot of wind out of the sails of the VIP method that we were praising earlier. You know, I got to say... I I don't even know if it, like what they did in that ring. They were winning almost the entire match. It does. It's just a bad look that Logan had to get involved. It would have been better You're looking right. for the VIP method if he just would have contained his composure and stood there, you know. You're right. You're 100% right. He should have stayed out of it. Uh, it could have been the difference of the match. It might have been. They may have needed the VP of VIP as moral support, and because he got thrown out of the ring, uh, uh, out of the arena. You gotta wonder if that wasn't an effect. You're right. Especially with how close they came, would that just be the little tippy top thing that they needed to push them over into that victory? I, I cannot believe they didn't get this win. And uh, Justin with the big teardrop suplex to finish this sucker off after three of them. And uh, if Logan was here to shout some motivational speech right here, would that would he have kicked out? It. Would it have changed? You're 100% right. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see, at some point, the perfect team standing tall with the titles. They are still the champions. They have retained after one heck of a main event. Uh, possibly one of our best matches yet. For sure. So, until next week, when the OMGW Championship is on the line, I'm Ziggy Vans. With me is Blaze Phillips. Yeah, come back next week for an exciting New day of wrestling. Take it.